two precocious kids visit their estranged grandparents and attempt to fix the emotional rift between them and their mother via documentary and M. Night Shyamalan's return to form, quote-unquote, as many people called it, The Visit. That's the premise, and we're going to talk about it here. Now, before we get to the pros and cons, real quick, this was the movie that a lot of people considered M. Night stepping out of the fucking muck yeah. with. And I agree with that. I don't know if you do. I agree this was a step forward from the fucking garbage mm -hmm. that he had become. At least it's not happening. So Yes, that exactly. And that may ultimately be the thought about this. At least it's not the happening. But this movie did get a lot of critical praise. And I, upon revisiting it, and that's why we're doing this review, I think that was just people wanting him to come back. Full force. Yeah. Does that mean the movie is bad? Well, let's talk about it. This was your second time. This was my first time. This was your first time. This was my second time. Full disclosure, the first time I saw it, I was, uh, you know, relatively satisfied. I was like, good, I can see M. Night coming forth from this. And he did. Split was fantastic. Uh, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Glass is coming up. It's time to revisit this and see how it held up. A second time, the things that I disliked in it the first time were only reinforced tenfold. The cons. Let's start with those cons. Them fucking kids, man. Woo! It's nothing against the actors. The actors are pretty fantastic. Yeah. The cast is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty solid cast. It's the character of the kids. It's fucking anus, man. I don't know what the hell M. Night was thinking, but it, I think that ego was still kind of, you know, little, churning yeah. inside him. And he just, you know, kind of projected himself onto these kids. Because yeah. what should be precociousness and, you know, just a, just a general air of intelligence in these kids just comes off as pretentious asshole you know personalities man yeah, especially the little girl yeah uh where it just seems like it's a bitter m night <laughs> yeah shitting really. on people really man mm. uh and that's not to say that the rapping kid should no, be no. and let me tell you Shit. this movie ended in on a high note and then right after it ends, rap. we get this fucking rap. Like extended ass rap too. And that shit is horrid. Yeah. Why would you put that there? Like I got better bars than that shit. Fucking prison has better bars than that shit and they'll stink. Yep. They don't have bars anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that, so there, that goes to show you. Yeah. Anyway, man. Yeah, that, that was a big fucking thing for me. That, I also share that con. Yes. I mean, I, I can't imagine someone not sharing that con. And, and I'll point this out. There are movies like The Babadook. A lot of people say the kid is irritating in it. He is. He's supposed to be irritating because his nature is tied into the story. So despite the irritating nature of the kid, it's, it's you know, interweaved into the, what the fucking story is about. These kids, yeah, they were abandoned by their, you know, father and all that stuff. But is that a reason for them to be... Yeah. So much of an overachiever that you become obnoxious as shit. They're no. also, I don't think they're supposed to be annoying either. Yeah, they're not supposed to be annoying. They're, they're supposed to be compensating, but to the, to the level where they just become like those, you know, douchebag hipsters like, that you hate. You know, like the hall monitors in school that Th you hated? That's them! That's those characters. That's exactly what I was thinking through the, through the beginning of this movie. Because uh, the problems with the characters are mostly in the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do become better as the time as the movie goes along, and then you get that rap at the end. Oh, man. But through the beginning, I was like, "Man, these are those." Especially the little girl. It's like, "Man, this is the hall monitor I hated in school." Yeah. So if you're a hall monitor, you'll love this movie. Yeah. Uh, con number two for me was the movie is a found footage movie, you know, and found footage movies get a bad rap, and usually it's you know because of the contrived ways that scenes are shown. A lot of people feel, it doesn't feel genuine or organic mm -hmm. whenever something is shown because that means the character has to be holding up a camera. M. Night circumvented this, or so he thought, with making the kid, you know, an amateur filmmaker. Fair enough. That allows you to set up nice shots at times, but there's a point where that doesn't work, especially when other people are handling the camera yeah. or there's some insane shit going on. Why is there still these kind of nice set sh setup shots? Yeah, there's mostly uh, two people with the camera and they both look identical. Yeah, so in his bid to make it realistic or to present it in a more cinematic way, he actually embodied the problems that people point out in found footage films whereas found footage films sometimes are awful sometimes are great 
Uh, it's a medium. It's a way of delivery. We shouldn't be over concerned with the way it's done unless it's awful. And this one is awful. Mm. You know, it again, sometimes, and I, uh, it's a large chunk of the time. I'm the whole. I mean, I'm just thinking, why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> why did the grandpa get that shot just right? You know, what I'm several saying? times where people hold the camera in a way that you're like, no one holds anything yes. on earth that way. Yes. I agree, man. And these these were two very big glaring cons for me. Any cons that you can think of uh, that I haven't mentioned already? Mostly those two things. I also, because of how high quality the camera is, it kind of broke me out of the moment where it's just like, man, how does it have this much storage and battery? There's no, You never see anybody <laughs> plugging anything in. You never see anybody swapping SD cards or something like that. And this baby is like in 50K resolution. And normally yeah. that would not be a problem in found footage movies, but since already you're kind of broken out of yes. the, the immersion, exactly, you're, you eventually start thinking like, man, how does this have this much storage? Mm -hmm. They have like 18 terabyte freaking SD cards. See a movie like, uh, and you know, this is one we both liked and recommend, as above, so below. You don't think about that because these people have a reason to carry this equipment around, have a reason to shoot certain ways, and, and the footage looks a certain way yeah, that is believable. The footage looks like people shooting something in the constraints of their environment this is like why are we getting these shots yeah. I, don't, I don't understand why we're still getting cinematic quality fucking shots in these situations these harrowing situations so yeah again yeah i think you're absolutely right he breaks that immersion quality and you're just kind of left questioning everything yeah a lot of the time a small nitpick which isn't really a con uh but if i kind of wish he would have gone full on with the con with the idea mm -hmm. of the story and not have like the production titles in the beginning and at the end just present it as an actual movie yeah but it's m night and he had to put his name in there so we weren't gonna get that yeah ultimately this is presented as a film made by the character but yeah yeah it ruins that at the beginning you're like which one's m night just go yeah just go for it from the beginning so yeah that, that definitely took me out of it uh that being said <laughs> Let's talk about some pros before we get too negative here. I do feel this was a huge step forward for M. Night. I do feel he needed this. And it's clear and split that he learned a lot of lessons from it. You know, so there was positivity to be had here. There, I think another pro for me is the premise is fantastic. The idea is awesome. You know, uh, so that kept me at least interested uh, for the most part to see how he would develop that idea and, you know, there was peaks and there was valleys, but, you know, I got through it and, and I didn't hate it. Um, another pro for me would be the actors. They, they are, it's a pretty damn great cast, uh, especially the oldsters. Yeah. Doing their weirdo shit. I mean, you know, it feels a little out of the blue sometimes. In fact, let me let me use that to go back to one con that I feel needs to be mentioned. Uh, as much, you know, as much people as he preys on the visit... But then they'll shit on something like As Above, So Below. That's hypocritical to me. I also find this hypocritical. That they heap praise on the visit scares. But they'll shit on something else that's found footage style scares. This thing was loaded with jump scares. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking good jump no, scares. I'm weak. talking like, what the fuck? Why, Did is, we just why see... is someone doing that? Yeah. And some of them were just downright funny. And I don't know if he intended them to be funny is the weird part. I enjoyed them for that reason. The best example would be when the grandma's eating the cookie. Oh, yeah. And she just turns to the cram to the camera and like looks directly into it, you know, and, and, and screams. And, the... and I'm like, what the fuck is that, man? You know? And he did this uh, a number of times. There was a, a variety of jump scares. None of them earned. None of them built up adequately. There was no suspense to them. It, they just it happened. Felt, yeah, it felt like uh, like he was like, oh, shit, I got to throw in a scare here. Yeah, yeah, really it did, you know. So uh, that, that goes to the con. But, yeah, that that's not to deride the actors doing it. They did a fantastic job, which is a pro for me uh, another pro is it is m night so he does know how to shoot shit and on a cinematic level maybe not in the you know particular fucking sub genre he chose to show uh, show it in which is found footage but if we're just looking at this cinematically some shots are very beautiful and uh very well lit you know th there's a very limited amount of music and that works for what he was doing there so that's good but uh yeah man you know what can you say pros <clears throat> I think the the um, 
the actors are great, but uh, you already touched on that. I just want to also add to that hashtag hot hag. I think I would bang that hag. I don't know <laughs> why. That is one of my pluses. Hot hag. Uh, you also get a hot hag ass. <laughs> <laughs> Very floppy hot hag ass. <laughs> so that's also great. Um, I think... I don't know if this is a plus or a, or a minus, mm -hmm. and I don't know how it ages with the second viewing, but I think that throughout the movie, because it is M. Night, you're expecting some sort of twist, mm -hmm. and uh, you're expecting some sort of supernatural twist, so you're kind of like, oh, what are the old hags, what are they and shit, and then they end up being something kind of realistic, and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, that's neat, even though it's super freaking obvious because this movie is not subtle at all yes. throughout so I was kind of, it was kind of a interesting that it didn't go somewhere crazy. Yeah. In but fact, I don't know how that ages with the second view. I'm glad you brought that up because that just means we have to add that to the cons column. Yes, this movie has no subtlety. And M. Night can do subtle. You know, there, there's Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, uh, Signs, etc. He can do subtle. We know that. But he lost that touch a long time ago. And like I said, this is a stepping stone between crap and quality. So his subtleness is not there. Uh -uh. <laughs> Woo! He just, people just tell you yeah, how to feel at times. People, Yeah, straight up expository dialogue. So that's a big con. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a stinker of a, of a situation there. Uh, not always. Sometimes the dialogue's good, but uh, not when they're rapping or expos ex expositing. Yeah. But anyway, let's give this our final thoughts. There was definitely a lot more cons in the end than there was yeah. pros. Final thoughts and final score on a scale of 1 through 10. I actually liked it. Um, I warmed up to its setting or its uh, setup as the movie went along. But in the first like 20 minutes, I was like, this is going to be bad because of those shitty kids. Mm -hmm. But it does get better and it does get pretty interesting. I think the, on the, I think the only reason this movie is any good... Is because of how good the old people are. Yeah. Um, the kids are bad, but they're trying, and they're. It's not the actor's fault. It's the fault of the horrible, horrible writing mm -hmm. on their side. Um, but those old people are pretty damn interesting, and you want to know what's going on. So it keeps you on up yeah. in there. It keeps you hooked. You're like, all right, I want to know what's going on. Uh, you do also get some types in the faces, which is pretty great. Uh, also floppy ass. Um, <laughs> So, it's, so ultimately, I actually kind of liked it. Final score? I was score? expecting to hate it. Final score, I'll give this like a... I feel like giving it any higher is, is, is not being genuine, so I'll give it a, a 6.5. Mm -hmm. Not That's not a bad rating. It's just over yeah. average. I feel ultimately, in the end... Because of its faults. Yeah. I feel in the end, this is not a movie that's going to age well. I feel also, though, that people are going to continue to defend it. Yeah. Uh, I love M. Night, and I wished and wished and continued to wish that he would come back to form. And he has with Split. Let's see if he fucks it up. But, you know, hopefully he won't. <laughs> but I wished and wished and wished. And when I first saw the visit, I saw it with those eyes of someone wanting him to step out of the muck. And for that reason, I think it, the movie satisfied me enough back then. Upon second viewing a few years later... I feel the movie has not aged well, and considering my initial impressions weren't that great, yeah, uh, that says a lot. Uh, and I won't defend the movie for its faults, but I don't hate the movie. I actually kind of enjoy it. The premise is strong. I just think the carryout is ultimately very fallible. It's one of those movies that you know isn't very good, but you still kind of like. Yeah, there's enjoyable aspects of it for sure. And I would definitely rewatch it. Like, I wanted to rewatch it. So, you know, that tells you something. And I think I will revisit it in the future. Uh, maybe not soon, but eventually, yes. And I have no problem with it being in my collection. So, there's that. I will give it a score of 5.5. .5. Again, that kind of sounds awful. But we're going on the M. Night scale here. Yeah. He's done some some slobber knockers, man. Some tens. And so, that you know, there you go. What did you think about the visit? Have you revisited the visit? And what did you think about it then? Let us know below. Hit like, share, subscribe, and those notification buttons because we are out of here. Not bad. That was my little jizz bucket. Yeah.